Hey guys, it's Richie from Fred Junkies and we are back. Uh, we've got a great product review for you today. We're going to be looking at the Lone Star Stranger from our Weaver FX and I'm um, going to be asking what makes these circuits so special. Take a listen to this. <laughs> Okay, so um, yesterday or the day before I put a clip up, just just I was super inspired and just wanted to capture the audio. Um, it was on the fly, but yeah, I just really wanted to capture the audio. So what you were hearing there was just the Ranger into the amp and nothing else. Um, what makes these these pedals so so good? What you know? What's the big attraction to them? Obviously, the Caesar Diaz uh, Texas Ranger, which this is based off, and there's a couple of others out there. Lots of other boutique makers make these pedals, and, and rightly so because um, it's a schematic worth copying. Much like the Tube Scream is being cloned, it's the same kind of thing, right? Um, except you're not playing the huge, you know, jumped up price tag that gets associated with those DI's pedals. I've owned a few and they are special. It is worth noting they are very special. Um, but what makes them special as a circuit is 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 what they offer in. in in terms of they can go from lean, mean, and, and, and all the in-between. Um, if they're done right, you can kind of almost get rid of any fuzz that you might choose, unless you're choosing like a doom fuzz or something like that, um, because they'll almost give you that sound. Um, cock them in front of a, a wah, and your wah is just going to get more vocal. Put them in front of a vibe, and you'll get that buzz so, so kind of vibe tone. Um, they're just amazing, amazing circuits. Philip Sace uses one, um, made it kind of really popular, um, you know, and like I said, they, they are really fantastic. Um, this particular one, I'm really enjoying, um, like really enjoying because it boasts my favorite um, transistors inside. It's got the NTE-103 and that's my favorite that I've tried out of all transistors, uh, germanium. Uh, I think it has a really good character, a clean that's thicker than silicone, and a really nice uh, thicker fuzz sound without getting lost like a muff might. Um, these are, it is worth noting, it, 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 uh, Rick does offer these in silicone as well. Um, I'm gonna leave all Rick's details below so you can check that out. And, then, and shoot Rick a message, you know, if you, if you want to get more info from him. Um, but yeah, this one, this one, I am particularly loving just because it's got germanium. Um, and like I said, that I, I'm a germanium nut, um, and people are silicone nuts, and that's you know that's how it goes. I'm not saying this is the one that's going to be right for you. I'm saying this one's right for me. Um, in terms of it has the NTE 103s in which I like. I'm running it on battery, um, just because it's easier for me right now. And yeah, I'm gonna run it through the low, the mid, the high. Um, low's probably my favorite. One thing this thing does really well, actually, I, I've almost forgot them. If, you, if you're stuck for volume and you can't play loud and you're using an attenuator or something like that, um, if you want to get a, a loud amp will have a certain feel to it it's really hard to explain but it'll have a feel to your play and your 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 play off the feel of the amp when it's loud this does a fantastic job of making your amp feel like you're playing it loud so the other night i had a real quiet i mean whisper quiet uh with the attenuator slammed down to like it was 16 db everything slammed off and um and put this on and controlled you know my volume here and man, it was just such an addictive uh, tone. Really, really good. Kind of brought the amp to life at a quieter volume. So it's worth noticing you could almost use it like that, you know? Um, same as you can do with a tube screamer, but I find this works better. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do no more talk. I'm gonna get into it. This is the Lone Star Stranger from R Weaver FX. I'll like, I'll, like I said, I'll leave all his details below and you can drop uh, Rick a message there. Let's get into the tones. Oh yeah. If you're new here and you like this kind of videos, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Um, this is funded by passion and my own time. And we're almost at 5,000 subscribers, which is massive to me, man. So thank you so much, everyone that's been with me along this and everybody that's going to keep being here and supporting the channel. Peace.
showing you what the pedal is capable of um, this video could go on forever it's one of those kind of videos okay um, one thing I want to show you at the end there is the high setting I never have really liked on any of these pedals unless it's into a, hum a humbucker um, even on the Diaz's I had I've, I thought it was probably designed for a humbucker you got a DAC neck um, on a Gibson saw guitar or with humbuckers and this really makes it like pop back out. It's really cool for cutting through. Um, so yeah, I use the high setting on the outer phase um, phase position on the guitar and it gets kind of real honky and it's really cool. It sounds like old records, you know? Um, so every setting is usable. I tried to guide you through there, um, what it's capable of. It's just, it is a fantastic pedal. It really is. Uh, I'm very, very much enjoying it and it will be going on my board. Um, like I said, great before the pedals. It works fantastic with the pedals as well. Um, and maybe we'll look into that further, you know, into other videos coming up in the future. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for being here. Follow, uh, follow the uh, description for Rick's details and um, make sure to subscribe guys and it really supports the channel and pushes me forward and uh, fuels my fire. So yeah, thank you so much for being with me and until the next video, peace. <laughs>